Okay, so in High Spots was having their um, sale um, on Black Friday sale. I wanted to pick up PWG uh, Bola 2016, but unfortunately at that time it was sold out. So I had so I had to settle for uh, night one, Oscar weekend number 12, and night two. Now if you're not familiar with PWG, if you want to start getting into the company, I highly recommend just picking up one of their DVDs and checking it out. They are based out in California. They're run by uh, wrestlers, actually. I think Jory Ryan is one of the uh, owners. Uh, the style is a lot of fast-paced action, uh, a lot of false finishes in the matches, for example, like a lot of like you no know, near falls, uh, not a lot of selling. I think that's how independent wrestling is going these days, with like a lot of high-flying, um, multiple moves. For example, like back in the old day, a DDT will, would be like one, two, three, and the match would be over. Now you're seeing these guys taking like two, three, multiple DVD, DDTs in a match. <clears throat> so, um, so I did get night one. Let's go over night one real quick. Um, now, as a style, like I, I'm mixed with the style of, of this cut type of style of wrestling. You know, I do enjoy the fast-paced action. I don't like wrestling where they're in the headlock for like you know 20 minutes. You know, that's it, it bores me. Um, I do do like that <clears throat> that that style, the fast-paced style. As as you can see on the cover here, it's uh, Roderick Strong. Um, he's their champion at the time when this was shot. Uh, and this is a flat, the flat DVD covers, similar to Ring of Honor. I do enjoy these covers because they're, they don't take that much space in your in your, in your uh, shelf. Uh, so we have here. This is the back cover where they have a lot of uh, pictures of the uh, the matches. And then <clears throat> you open it up, and there's the DVD. All right. So let's go through the matches. So you're going to get seven matches on the card here. I'm not going to go through every every match like in detail because I know a lot of other YouTubers do that. Some of these matches kind of run together for to me. You know, it's like a lot of fast pace, a lot of like action, uh, no selling, of course, which I mentioned before. So you, you start off with Chuck, uh, Trevor Lee versus Chuck Taylor. Trevor Lee, if you're watching TNA um, last couple months, he's part of TNA. Um, Chuck Taylor is pretty much a staple in PWG. Uh, you know, he's been, you know, on, on most of those, those DVDs. Uh, Trevor Lee, uh, you know, again, I'm not too sure about him yet. I mean, he's he, he wrestles, like, in, in the black trunks, uh, black boots and knee pads. When I think of that, I think of Stone Cold Steve Austin. He doesn't really have a personality. That's, I mean, I, I don't know much about him. I know in TNA, he's in TNA, he was the former X Division champion. But he's part of Shane Helms' uh, dynasty, I believe, and you know mostly Shane Helms does all the talking, so he's not really like doesn't doesn't really do that many promos. Um, and then we move on to Evil Uno versus Chris Hero. I don't know who Evil Uno is. Uh, this guy in the mask looks like he's out of shape. But speaking about being out of shape, Chris Hero, what happened to Chris Hero? I know there's rumors now that he's going to be going back to WWE. I can't believe they would they would bring him back in the shape that he is in now. And I don't want to criticize him. I don't want to say like you know I'm not like saying that he has to go on steroids or, or something. But just go to a, a gym and I mean right now I mean he's he, he's gained so much weight. He's got a belly. In my opinion: wrestlers need to look like wrestlers. They need to look athletic. They need to, need to have a little muscle tone. I know Chris, the way Chris here is built, he's not going to be able to put on that much muscle. He's not going to look like like John Cena or the Warlord from back in the day. Uh, he's not going to have that physique, but he's going to be able to, if he does, like, you know, slim down, he would be, be kind of like, um, you know, toned and, and uh, lean. I, but the way he looks now, I mean, he looks really bad. Like, he just, they just took this guy off the, you know, he's coming from, from the bar or something. Uh, but he still can hit his moves, which is which is still good. So he still can hit those moves, and he still can keep up. So he's not losing any pace with the the weight gain. But he should definitely. I mean, if he does get signed, with, goes goes back to NXT, they should really uh, you know hook him up with like a um a nutritionist, and and you know help him you know lose weight. Then we have Drew Galloway versus Trent. Uh, Drew Galloway, you know, another TNA guy. Uh, Never was a big fan of him in WWE when he was Drew McIntyre, I believe, and he was part of the the 
three-man band. Um, was never a big fan, but now as he started, when as soon as he left WWE, started doing the independence, I'm starting to dig his character. He and you know he looks like a professional wrestler. You know, uh, then we have Roderick Storm versus Mac Mark Andrews, Kyle O'Reilly versus Marty Squirrel. Marty Squirrel. I mean, again, I don't, I don't know too much about him. I know he started with T with uh, Ring of Honor. He's now their t their television champion. He has a good look to him, a good character. I definitely see him in NXT in the future. And then we have Adam Cole versus Zack Sabre Jr. Hearing a lot about Zack Sabre Jr. Finally got to see um, him in action. Uh, again, he's a guy I don't know too much about. I know from the two from the two matches I've seen him in that he can wrestle. He's a good wrestler. You know, he's one of those guys from from um, England. And um, I think right now with wrestling, there's like this 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 like thing from from England. Like a lot of wrestlers are coming through, and you can tell from like WWE they're going to have like their their a tournament uh, to, to crown a European champion. Um, not again. I don't know too much about Zack Saber, but I, I don't know if he can cut promos. Uh, but he can wrestle. He has a good look to him. Definitely a good baby face. Will he ever make it to NXT? Probably, I would say, depending, you know. Um, but I, I would, I would definitely would say that the main event: the Young Bucks against Ricochet and Matt Seidel. Great tag team match. Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> fast pace, like I told you about, like you know, a lot of near falls, uh, false finishes. High flying super kicks. The super kick is probably the most overused move now in wrestling. I remember back like back in the day, it was only Shawn Michaels would hit the super kick. Now it's like multiple super kicks, and you could get like 10, 15 in one match. Definitely recommend this DVD. Great action. Then we have night two. On the night two is Zack Saber on the cover. I guess these covers kind of go together because they uh, they they were in the main event. Right here we open it up. This is the DVD. Inside we see Zack Saber, and the back we got some pictures of the event. Um, so again, you get about seven matches. Uh, first match is Marty Scroll versus Chuck Taylor. Pretty good match. Pretty good opener. Um, Mark Andrews versus Evil Uno. Drew Galloway versus Trevor Lee. We got the TNA guys. Um, JT Dunn, Chris Hero versus Ricochet and Matt Seidel. Probably one of my favorite matches on the card. Really good tag team match. Again, I don't know much about JT Dunn. I think this was like his first um, appearance in PWG. But definitely, I mean, it was a really good match. Uh, then we have Adam Cole versus Trent. Uh, the Young Bucks versus Red Dragon. That was, a, that was a good match too. Young Bucks, I mean, they always have good matches. And then in the main event, we have uh, Roderick Strong versus Zack Sabre Jr. And this is when Zack Sabre um, defeated Roderick Strong and became the PWG champion. So definitely, um, if you are looking to branch out of WWE or TNA and you're looking for independent wrestling, definitely recommend PWG. Uh, you you know go to highspots.com and check out what they have. Uh, Definitely recommend it.